Hey team, this is a short video on how to add leads into Propelio. And uh, what we're going to do first is check here to make sure that we don't have it. Uh, we're going to take a, a property and we're going to make a, a ticket investor from the area at Sentence. Uh, we see it pops up here on the bottom. We'll go ahead and select it. All right, once we select it, uh, we now have the lead. It'll give us the owner's information. As you can see, uh, Fabian is the investor selling us the property. It'll tell us what it believes the value is, the tax information here on this end, uh, the land information. So this is uh, the legal description as well, as well as the recent buy information that it has. On our media notes, this is where we put in our notes. So if we spoke with the seller and we know that our offer is a certain price, we'll put it here, or we know that they're asking a certain price, we'll go ahead and enter it here. Uh, in this particular case, he's asking 55. So let's go ahead and put that in there. All right, and we don't have any notes, but we know that this uh, property was referred by Fabian. send us at that point I'll go ahead and copy all of it notes and now we have successfully updated the lead into Propelio so back at the property tab on Propelio if we want to see what the average price of the property is or the average rent of the property and what we'll do is we will Sale. So these are our comps. So we see it's a three bed, one bath, uh, 960 square feet, 1954. So all of ours, just like that, we want similar. So it gave, it gave us a basic layout over here. I don't think we're going to have to change this too much in this particular case because there's not a lot of leads in the area. Make sure that it's up to date. Okay. One sold, one on market, and then ours. So let's take a look at this one. Very nice, very new. Uh, three, two, so we would need another bathroom. And about 600 more square feet. Uh, this other, And it took 51 days to sell. Uh, this other one is uh, much larger and it is uh, selling for a much different price bracket yep, different level home what we can say for this one is our average price or our arv is so if we save that and back to our property page I'm sorry, our uh, media note page, then it will give us the 252. Now for our rents, if we want to find our average rent of this property, then once again, we will go to our comparable sales page, go over to the rental tab, and in this one, there are no rents. So if I have no rents, then another thing that I may do to find a rental Rental space. Is use rental meter. Pop in the address, uh, select it. 
Not sure what the rents are. We're going to be looking at the rent over there in three beds. And if we have to add a bathroom, then it'll be uh, one and a half or more bathrooms. So we now see that the average would be this. It'll give us a map too. And that the average would be this, the median would be this. And uh, Average and add it into print. So a little less than two. Okay, and then another thing that we will do as if it is added into our notes. And there you have it. Now we have an estimated rent and an estimated ARV. Thanks for asking.